Let me show you how to differentiate yourself from other photographers out there. Hello, my name is Gaston Garcia and I help photographers like you build profitable businesses. Unless you're new to the photography business world, you already know that pretty much every market is flooded with talented photographers. Some areas are easier than others, but in general there's a lot of us and the numbers keep growing every day. So what can you do to differentiate yourself from your competitors? I'm glad you asked. Let's start with the basics. If you want to be different, be different. Create different images or edit them in a different way that your competitors do. This is the easiest and fastest way to have a business that doesn't compete for price. If you purchase the same presets everyone is using online, you will end up in a competition with dozens of photographers with the same editing style. On the other hand, if you sit down and produce an editing style that matches the things you like, but it is different from the trends that most people are following, you will be a different option in your client's eyes. I'm pretty sure that you can think of a photographer or two that you really, really like and how his or her images are different from everybody else's. That is a personal style and that's exactly what you should aim for. The second way to differentiate yourself is through your personality. Unless you produce fine art, it's very likely that you get to interact with your clients. You could be a real estate photographer or a wedding photographer and in both cases the personal relationships are extremely important to succeed. Be personable. We're photographers, not accountants. In most cases, people want your personality to come through. If you're a people person, and you should be if you're a portrait photographer, you should leverage your personality to differentiate yourself. You can do this through your messaging, your images, your bio, or by posting videos that make your audience connect with you on a more personal level. Whether you're using your personality to book more clients or not, remember that there's a thin line between funny and unprofessional. You don't want to cross that line unless that's exactly what makes you different. The next strategy involves using your services or offerings to set yourself apart. In this case, you should be the best at something, like styling food, shooting engagements on the water, planning urban sessions with strokes and dramatic lighting, or anything that you can think of. If you're not at that level yet, or you cannot think of anything specific, try something different. What about being the best at customer service, or the best at finding unique locations? You can be the guy or girl that plans photo shoots and writes brief guides for your clients based on their personalities. How unique is that? Whatever you do, make it unique. This will make you different. The last strategy I want to talk about is being different by your pricing. I'm not suggesting that you jack up your prices and be done with that. I'm saying that you can offer a premium experience from start to finish, offering a level of detail that no one else is providing in your town. The pricing strategy is doable, it works to differentiate yourself, but it involves a lot of thought, planning and consideration of strategies that should back up your premium prices, and that's not really easy to do. Once you find your approach and decide which route to take, remember to establish a clear messaging to let your clients know what makes you different. Talk about your style or your services or how you make people feel when capturing their portraits or even how fast you deliver your images. Whatever you decide to go for, make it clear and let them know. Remember, if you want to be different, do something different. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next week. Thank you.